All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form, step 19. So specifying the type attribute of a form element is important for the browser to know what kind of data it should expect. If the type is not specified, the browser will default to text. So we're gonna give the first two input elements a type attribute of text the third a type attribute of email, and the fourth a type attribute of password. All right, the email type only allows emails with an at sign and a period in the domain, all right? And then the password type obscures the input and warns that the site does not use HTTPS, which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, and a bunch of words after that. Uh, I don't really know what that is, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out one day. So what we're going to do here is uh, mm, we're going to give the first two input elements a type attribute of text, input elements. So these right here. So after the ID, we'll put uh, type equals text like that. All right. Uh, let's take this out of here just for a second. Mm. Yeah, let's just get it out of there. Let's just take this, and then now let's put text. Actually, let's put them all down in all these first. All right, so text for the first two. Then the next one after that is uh, email and then password. So email and password. All right, and let's check it. Looks good, submit it. All right, now we're on to step 20 and we'll see you next time.